Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoyed today's video, come back tomorrow. tomorrow. So James is officially sick. Mm -hmm. He slept for like 15 hours. Yeah. He he did really well overnight, but then this morning just he got sick. Got sick. So we did call the doctor. They said we're doing everything we should, keeping him hydrated, making sure he's got wet diapers and suggested some Pedialyte yeah, and some so other ideas. We'll probably if it keeps up tomorrow, we'll probably bring him in like once we get home. Yeah. But they're not worried. Like he's really only gotten sick three times in forty eight hours. So yeah. like that doesn't sound like a lot, but it just feels like it's our fir his first like true little, sickness. Sick yeah. yeah. So so I'm gonna go to the store a little later to pick up some supplies, but we are just gonna. Maybe fall asleep. Good. We're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna watch Christmas movies all day. Yeah. We've already watched Polar Express and The Grinch. Yes. was getting a little restless, so I took her out. Here's the road run. County Road O. Look at I just realized that. The Blue Hills Trail is just two miles down that road. It's kind of cool. It's snow falling from trees, it's gorgeous. Look at this sun, ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. Evie, let's go this way. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I think I forgot to get on the vlog yesterday, but just over here is, uh, we're next to Christie Mountain Ski Resort. And you can see at nighttime the lights on top of the mountain. If you listen carefully, I doubt it's going to pick up on the camera, but you can hear the turning of the motor that's making the ski lift go. And you can occasionally hear people going down the ski like, Whoa! All right, it is so beautiful, snowy wonderland because it's been so cold that it hasn't melted, but it has not snowed more, which is good. Here's our beautiful puppy. I already brought her OUT today once. We're gonna go play again later. But even though James is sick, we are trying to uh, keep a positive spin on the day. He's sleeping right now, and so we, Sarah and I are going to do our breakfast tradition of having birthday cake for breakfast. It's your birthday. Did we, even <laughs> we haven't talked about that. It is my 30th birthday. Peter is 30. I am 30 years old today. I've been waiting for this day. I've been more so waiting for my 40s, but this is like the precipice of like, no, but like people, th I mean, people do say the 30s are still like young and hip nowadays, but like, that's really... Right, like that was really the 20s, and there are people who think like, oh, the 30 is a year old now, but like the 40s is like, I, I hope that like I thrive, thrive and uh, age like a fine wine. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, James, are you playing? I just gave him another bottle, and we're holding our breath. We got Home Alone on, and James is going to play some checkers. Peter definitely beat me last night. Probably the first time in history. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself together a little bit here and go over to, a, we found a Walmart about 25 miles away, 25 minutes away. Um, so I'm gonna go there for some soup and some Pedialyte just in case he doesn't keep his formula down. All right, thus begins. Our adventure to uh, Walmart down the road. Just listen. There's a car alarm going off in the distance, but besides that, it's just beautiful and serene and quiet. I really hope another deer comes by. I just don't know if they will because the ski resort that's like right here next door just opened up yesterday. So I feel like all the extra activities probably got them all. 
moving over to quieter parts, but like, it's quiet over here. I can't even see the neighbor. I don't even know if there is. We got a snoozing baby. We watched Rudolph and then he fell asleep. And so now I have on like the holiday Great British Baking Show, which I feel like we talked about this before, but we watched Great British Baking Sh Show like the week everything took a turn with Sweet Pea. And that's like what we just like relaxed and watched, like binge watched, really. We watched seasons um, that week that we didn't vlog. And so we've kind of steered clear of it since because it kind of like, I don't know, like it just like brings you back. Um, but I'm doing pretty good. And I think with it being Christmas, it's a little different. It's different hosts. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep watching. Sorry about that, I had to put the damper on the fire because I put some more wood on it. So I went to Walmart, I'm back now. That was a bit of an excursion. Um, so Bruce, Wisconsin only has 779 people living in there. But James is, uh, he's getting a bottle now. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. I got him a truck, but our, our host came by just now to say hi. And she dropped off these wonderful little ornaments <laughs> for James. Gnome. Little gnomes. And so we pointed out like the quilts around here. You know, there's quite a few. Like there's that one, that one. There's some more upstairs in the bed, but she has used them as like mats and stuff. And it's this beautiful like swirly design. And I could not believe it, but she mentioned she stopped by and had those ornaments and a gift because she felt bad how upset James was in the car when we were driving here, like after they picked us up. But look at this after we were stuck. beautiful quilt. So that's the backside, cool design. And then on the front, look at the little mooses. She just gave this to us. So nice. Yeah. Like the nicest host. host ever. Like I always thought like we did an, a traditional bread and bed and breakfast on our honeymoon mm -hmm. and I thought those people were super nice. Yeah. But that was like very traditional bed and breakfast. Like the, we knew they were upstairs when we when there were other people in other rooms. We woke up, had breakfast with everybody, other strangers staying and the owners outside. But like that's like a part of the experience. Yeah. Like they make you Airbnb people forget I think nowadays that like it's not always like you you check in and nobody ever comes by again. Her husband came and plowed after the snow, has stopped by, helped us with the car, and just gave us this beautiful quilt. It's a beautiful. For a little late lunch, we are having some pot stickers and soy sauce, and Jamesy is going to have some chicken broth. He has been able to hold it together since this morning, and he ate, of all things, he ate one of my chili cheese Fritos. He has, he like rejected a cracker. He would not even have, like, we have those little like bunny graham crackers. He eats very regularly. Again, would not eat it. Chili cheese Frito, he's good for it. So now that it's been like an hour since his last bottle, we're gonna try just a little bit more substance, but not like going crazy. Like we're just gonna give him broth. We've just been restfully watching movies, James Scott sick one one more time so we're just relaxing but the fire's still going this has been easily one of my favorite parts of this whole place i made some uh, a little bit of a mess last time i brought wood in that i have to clean up sarah's finally been editing the vlog we still have to upload it and post it up but yeah um i can't get this cheesecake open we're gonna have dessert and then dinner because it's a birthday. And if it's a birthday. Happy birthday. We're having some cheesecake. Jamesy. Think I have some cheesecake? I don't know. Might be too much. night and I just keep checking out the window to see if deers pop up like we did the night we checked in because Sarah wants to see one so bad but so far nothing so far nothing what what do you have to you look like you're up to no good so far no deer so we're trying to wind down James had a little bit of being um 
just not in a good mood. Cause like, why would anybody feel good when they were getting a little icky sicky? So he's we're put on Grinch because he loves it, and we're kind of winding it down the night for him. Should we put on our matching jammies? I think we should put on our matching jammies. Evie even has them. Oh my gosh, I don't know how that's gonna go. I bought this on a whim for like an easy dinner while we were here. So we're gonna have this on pretzel rolls tonight. Just don't know what we're gonna have on the side. Okay, for our side, we just went with chips and dip. Are you gonna eat, Jamesy? I think we'll keep it simple. Okay, you guys gotta see Eve. Let's see if she'll come around the corner. Evie, you want a treat? Evie, you want a treat? <gasps> Evie! Yours, sir. Go, go, go. Here. Oh my goodness, are you wearing a shirt? <laughs> we all match Aru. He wants to draw on the chalkboard. <laughs> I got a matching nightgown. <laughs> We're cozy. The baby is asleep. Like, good and asleep. We don't. I don't want to put him in the bed in there. We have the monitor. We're going to leave him out here just in case. I don't want him to. Yeah. Yeah be confused or get sick. Are we doing this? You're wearing your Matrix shirt, so I think we are. We have two weeks. Sarah's never seen them, and I haven't watched them in a long time, and I would like to rewatch them, but I'm very excited for the new movie coming out in two weeks. What's it called? The Matrix Resurrections. Is one called Reloaded? One is called Reloaded. I think that's two. I wish we could watch them all tonight. I mean, if you really wanted to, we could. But that'd be like... Seven to eight hours. <laughs> um, give me your best birthday pose. <laughs> my, be my best birthday pose? <laughs> oh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to, to relax on your birthday. Yeah. I feel like I've also had a very extreme birthday. It's like today, it was a, one of those meant to be relaxing but two it was not meant to be this relaxing because of our sick of baby yeah it's like we were still gonna like go out to eat we we're gonna go see some christmas lights yeah there's a place an hour away called chippewa falls but it was like it's so relaxing and then i've had like extreme birthdays where i was like all up in disney world yeah or remember the, our, the first birthday that you were dating, I was at Disney World and I didn't even want to go because my dad surprised our family with a trip the night before Peter's birthday and I was like, I don't want to. I want to be with my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. It was. All right, we attempted to watch The Matrix, uh, but we fell asleep on the couches, so we're going to uh, get ourselves in bed because we need to get up and clean up this place and pack up. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. It was a great day. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.